I'm using my Victorinox 10 inch serrated knife moment of moment of truth there we go hello friends welcome back thank you for tuning again another episode of the backyard warrior and today I have a, a brisket cook this is a 20 pounder that I trimmed and seasoned last night and uh, I let it sit overnight in the fridge as you can tell from the title of this video this is a lemon pepper brisket a while ago I was watching a mad scientist barbecue channel video. he had a guest who's a, a barbecue judge and he mentioned something about a brisk lemon pepper brisket judging by your shirt kcbs barbecue judge master judge master yep that really all a good brisket needs is salt garlic powder and lemon pepper lemon pepper is that a is that a pro tip from a master judge uh it's a pro tip from a guy that's one thirteenth of the american royal okay <laughs> not bad <laughs> this could be a, a nice cook a nice experiment it's seasoned this brisket with some kinder's lemon pepper which is my favorite i usually use it for poultry and and vegetables but i never use it for beef or lamb here is how it went down yesterday with this trimming and uh, seasoning mm -hmm. So now that my smoker is ready, we're cooking around 250. I'm gonna place this towards the smokestack and let it cook for a few hours before we check on it, okay? So, smoker is ready. My fire is going on well. That's a big out of wood today. And we cruise it at 250. Again, beautiful day for again beautiful day for a smoke session. This is my setup Keep going. Point towards the firebox. Uh, we're gonna let it cook for a few hours and we'll come back and check on it, okay? And of course I have a water pan in here. Uh, smoker is ready. So 
six hours in we're still rolling at 250 we're gonna check on this brisket weather is not looking good it might rain I hope it doesn't at least until I finish this cook but if not we figure it out it happened before all right six hours in brisket looking very good nice color a little bit sticky that's good fat is rendering very good as well I love the color of this brisket and uh, bark is set a little bit of pulling here overall very happy with this brisket got a lot of fat rendered in the bottom of the smoker so six hours we're rolling at 250 cook is going well I still have a few hours to go oh nice so uh, eight hours for this brisket we're gonna temp it and see what's 75 170 on a point. nice color on this brisket bark is good everything is good so far I think it's time to do a foil boat on this brisket and uh, let it cook let it finish cooking all right This will sit here for a few hours until it's probe tender then the cook is over. Right. So 11 hours in, brisket is done. Look at this bark. Jiggly as well too. This thing is beautiful. I never had a bark like this on a brisket. I think it's that lemon pepper maybe the sugar in the rub maybe that sugar caramelized on top of the brisket created this bark here but I never had anything like this before all right I'm gonna let it rest a little bit this is some tallow I made earlier I got all the fat from my freezer grind it and put it in the pot render it down Brisket. So I'm gonna let it sit here for a little bit until it comes down to 160. Then onto the warmer. It's already preheated at 160. This thing will rest in a warmer overnight. I'll cut into it tomorrow morning. All right. I see you tomorrow. So 12 hours resting. This is what we left with. A beautiful nice brisket the bark like I said yesterday this is probably the the darkest bark I ever had in a brisket uh, I might think maybe the sugar from the lemon pepper but now we're gonna cut it down the middle almond of truth there we go that's a beautiful brisket right there no squeezing needed. There we go. Beautiful brisket. 
cut a piece of the end of the flat. That's a good looking brisket right there. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. Definitely a different flavor profile here. I can get a little bit of hints of, of the lemon on it. A little bit of sweetness as well. I could have done a a layer of salt before I apply the lemon pepper. It's a little bit under salted, but it could use a little bit more salt. Here's, the po Here's my point cut. Beautiful. A bit of a burn ends. These little nuggets right here. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So my take on the lemon pepper is, uh, if you want to use lemon pepper on brisket, start with a layer of salt, because this, at least the one I'm using, the Kendra's, is a little bit not too salty, so you might need more salt on your brisket. Flavors are on point, different than what I used to have. Uh, a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of a lemon hint to it, darker bark, other than that, cook was excellent, everything went well and i'm very happy with this all right with that being said stay safe thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one bye bye